Let's talk real estate with Daryl King. And guess what? Today's first day of kids going back to school. So we want to hope all those kids are all safe and healthy and everything works out fantastic. I know a lot of parents are very happy that their kids have gone back to school. I hope you are too. Anyway, it's that time of month that Toronto Real Estate reported, believe it or not, 5,627 home sales for the month of August, right? So representing a year-over-year -year dip of 34.2% compared to record-breaking year of last year, the August sales also represented a month-over-month -month increase compared to July. So instead of going down, 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 we actually went up. Sales represented a high share of new listings compared to the previous three months. If this trend continues, it could indicate some support for selling prices in the months ahead. Now you look at the average prices, August 21 was a million seventy two oh one, August 22, a million seventy nine five hundred. Now realize we had zipped up there, so we have slid down. But it's it's start the market is starting to get adjusted to the higher interest rates. Right? You know, the biggest problem with all of this is the mortgage stress point. So that's two points above what you have to get, a more, you have to approve for, for a mortgage. So, you know, if I have a mortgage coming up, if I'm, I'm at the, and I just stay to the same place, I have no issues. The, the mortgage lender will probably give me a lower rate, whatever. But if I'm free to go out there, not have to go do the mortgage stress rules, I can shop around for better rates. So this is one of the things that the government needs to look after immediately. Sales down 34.2, new listings down 0.7. Active listings are up 62.3. So, you know, the average price is 0.9% from a year ago. So all big increases we had for the last year have now balanced it out. So it's almost a wash. You know, your average days on market have, have increased it by 34 days versus 21. So, you know, we look at the city of Toronto. City of Toronto had 1,892 sales for an average price of 1,031,979. You look at Peel, they had 1,058 sales for an average of 1,062,984. And then York Region, this is I think the first month that I can remember that York has actually surpassed Peel. We had by five, a million, a thousand and sixty-three thousand, and our average price is one thousand, one million two hundred sixty-five thousand six hundred twenty-eight. Then we look at Durham; they they they're down because they were averaging about a thousand or something. They're down eight oh six, and now their average is nine hundred and twenty two six nine, right? So Durham has always been on fire. So now it's even caught up to there a little bit. But you know, the average was over a million dollars and now it's 92269. So again, that'll get the buyers going out there again. And Simcoe, again, this is only Simcoe and Toronto Real Estate Board, two boards. So on Toronto Real Estate Board, 175 sales for an average of 928718. And that average was over a million dollars. So there's been some adjustments so basically we go back to last august or this september that september and our prices are status quo pretty much even right so that's a great thing because the prices got too high so if the government could get rid of that mortgage stress rules for the refinancing for everybody it will make it for a pretty level playing field for everybody and a lot more energetic right you know the toronto blue jays it's september Man, they're, they're just like pushing that ball. You know, they won the double header yesterday. So let's hopefully they'll make the playoffs this year. So I want to wish everybody a very happy fall. Be healthy, be safe. Home sales, now you got to remember, we were in a summer market. So traditionally, the fall market is hotter. So I actually expect a pretty good September. I really do. So whether you're thinking, buying, selling, or investing, one question's answered, give us a call at 905-907-5464, our homes at darylking.com, and we wish you the best fall. Take care. Bye-bye.